Hello, good morning. Is you here, Tess? Welcome to Mercy, Love, and a Cup of Coffee. I'm waiting on Tess to come on. Hello, Peter. I don't know, Peter. I think I pressed the wrong button or something. <laughs> Are you there, Tess? Okay, what is going on here? Hold it. Okay, so something weird is happening. Not sure what. Tess, I got the phone vertical, by the way, if that's the problem. Hello, Mercedes. Hello, Sarah Lou. Hello, Nanette. Hello, Pam. No answer from the guest. Tess, what is going on? Tess, add. Go vertical. That is up and down, straight forward. My phone's acting weird, by the way, Tess, so I don't know. Ay, ay, ay. Bring Tess onto camera. Is your phone vertical, Tess? Make sure your phone is up and down. That's where I have my phone. Hello, Wesley. Hello, May. Do not know what is going on. Add, add. Okay, so while we're trying to add, I am going to go ahead and start reading what Tessa picked out for this morning. And... Oh, actually, Tess, it says you declined, is what it's telling me. It says, guest declined. So, you try. Um, send me an invite to come on. Good morning, everyone. So first of all, 
In Jesus' name, right now, I speak over Kurt. Kurt, get up right now. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, fully awake, fully restored, right now. Thank you, Jesus. I speak life, life, life over Kurt. Okay, so the verse that Tess chose was chapter 4, Romans chapter 4, 13 through 21. So, clearly, God's promise to give the whole earth to Abraham and his descendants was not based on his obedience to God's law but on a right relationship with God that comes by faith. If God's promise is only for those who obey the law, then faith is not necessary and the promise is pointless. For the law always brings punishments on those who try to obey it. The only way to avoid breaking the law is to have no law to break. So the promise is received by faith. It is given as a free gift and we are all certain to receive it whether or not we live according to the law of Moses. If we have faith like Abraham's, for Abraham is the father of of all who believe. That is what the scriptures mean when God told him, I have made you the father of many nations. This happened because Abraham believed in the God who brings the dead back to life and who creates new things out of nothing. Even when there was no reason for hope, Abraham kept hoping believing that he would become the father of many nations. For God said to him, that's how many descendants you will have. And Abraham's faith did not weaken, even though at about a hundred years of age, he figured his body was as good as dead, and so was Sarah's womb. Abraham never waved, wavered in believing God's promise. In fact, his faith grew stronger, and in this he brought glory to God. He was fully convinced that God is able to do whatsoever he promises. Amen. And so... Yeah, you know, I think and I love the way the NLT phrases that actually. It's not based on our actions. It's based on Christ's actions. Now notice that Paul writes that Abraham never wavered in believing God's promise. In fact, his faith grew stronger. So he was still counting when Sarah told him, gave him her handmaiden. Paul's still counting that as faith. I don't think that Paul was wrong when he said Abraham never wavered. Which, so... This is what we need to understand and get. And the more we quit basing our lives on our actions and the more we have, because we have the Holy Spirit, we have the spirit of faith, and the more we do that, the more we live that out. And this is what so many people do not understand and trying 
based upon our own selves and our own actions and we're trying to be perfect, that's when we fail. That which I would do, I do not. That which I would not do, that I do. You see, the loving Father knows. And Jesus, having walked the path, he knows. And so this is about understanding who we are, what Christ has accomplished. You know, to me, when, when we try to accomplish what Jesus already did for us, that's when we get in trouble. And that is not unlike Abraham and Sarah who tried to help God out with Hagar and uh, you know and that's the same thing so instead we realize who we are in Christ and what he's truly done for us and so you got the voice, Sarah Lou. Let's see. Let's see what the voice has to say. Yep. I like it. Cool. Thank you, Sarah Lou. I appreciate that. Um, so, I want you all to be encouraged. Yes, we are to seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. So, you know, this does not come from works. This comes from knowing what Christ has accomplished for us. And then we start walking it out. That's how we walk it out. We don't walk it out through trying to become. No, we walk it out through seeking the kingdom of God, seeking to know Jesus personally, seeking to know the loving Father, seeking God's kingdom. Then we start walking it out in all its various ways. That includes the miraculous. That includes resurrecting the dead. It includes all of these things. And the more we seek it out, based upon what he's done, then the more we walk it out, the less that we look to our works, then the more we walk in his works. So be encouraged with that. And I'm sorry we couldn't get Tess on because she would have given a very good little uplift. But in Jesus' name, I just speak, be encouraged. You know, so often we want to base life off of our actions where we need to be pointing to Jesus in us, the Holy Spirit, and then that's when we're able to do grace, God's ability to do that which we cannot do. That is my definition. It's his empowerment. It's his ability that he freely gives to us. To include, we can walk a sanctified lifestyle. But we do that based upon what he has done. So, with that, in Jesus' name, I speak that the rest of this week is full of God's love, full of you showing God's love for other people. Freedom. Freedom from the works of the law. We have the works of the Holy Spirit, which is where we should be at. And then there's the works of the law. Kill the works of the law. 
Jesus did it for us. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you all. In Jesus' name, be blessed, be healed, and be a blessing.